Protection of habitat alone will never reverse the trend of declining duck populations. The use of the right tools to manage remaining waterfowl breeding habitat can fill the North American flyways once again. Delta has conceived, crafted, and refined those tools. The Delta Waterfowl Million Duck Campaign is a transformative effort to create a $220 million endowment to put into mass production these tools of 21st century waterfowl conservation and deliver a million ducks in every fall flight every year, forever. The appreciation of habitat's importance goes back to the very creation of the science of waterfowl management on the prairies by Delta Waterfowl more than 100 years ago. Delta Waterfowl legends James Ford Bell and Albert Hochbaum, a student of Aldo Leopold, understood that more tools were needed to maximize productivity of raw habitat. One of the saddest features of our present waterfowl situation is that even though there is this constant aggression against marshes through drainage, and the loss of marshes is going ahead at a rapid rate still, there are not enough ducks to fill the existing breeding grounds. The greatly reduced breeding grounds, still not enough ducks to fill our reduced breeding grounds. Yet, even in 1986, when the U.S. and Canada ratified the North American Waterfowl Management Plan, it exclusively covered habitat conservation. Duck production tools were still missing. The forge was stoked in the early 1990s by construction of Kelly Slough in northeastern North Dakota. It had everything traditional 20th century waterfowl managers thought it took to produce ducks. But three years in, the habitat was not producing ducks. Nesting studies in the early 90s after our habitat development uh, gave us some uh, surprises. We, uh, we had hoped for a high nest density and high nest success, and we found just the opposite. Uh, our nest success was running anywhere from four to eight percent success and our densities were very low. Something had to be done. In 1994, Delta Waterfowl initiated what would be the most extensive research program ever conducted on breeding waterfowl predator management. Delta's first breeding season predator management test was on a 16 square mile site. Nest success on trapped land was 53% compared to 7% on untrapped land. Over the next five years, Delta undertook additional studies on even larger tracks. By 1998, the accumulated data showed that predator management delivered nest success of 43%, while unmanaged areas had only 15%. Such impressive success fanned the forge hotter and spurred the tempo of research. Delta Waterfowl had done it we crafted an irrefutably proven duck production tool. While the tool had been formed, the time had come for sharpening and polishing. 25 years ago, Delta's breeding ground predator management was already proven to be the most effective, cost-efficient waterfowl management tool. But Delta has continued to refine the tool with advances like hotspot trapping and a smartphone app that delivers near real-time reporting on the success of Delta's predator management contractors across the PPR. Wetlands acquisition and easement were 20th century conservation thinking. Important, useful, but not nearly enough on their own. 21st century success will come from policy that drives cooperative, voluntary, incentivized wetlands conservation and active management, including predator management and hen housing. It's the only way forward. At the same time Delta was forging the predator management tool, it was also refining another vital duck production predator abatement tool. Delta began serious research of nesting structures in 1991 based on the idea of nest cylinders from the Iowa Department of Natural Resources. In the first studies at the Delta Minidosa Field Station in Manitoba, the results were impressive. More than 50% of the hen houses were used by hens within two years of placement, and nearly 80% of their nests hatched. 
The Hen House is the tool with the greatest impact on nest success of any program. Delta has honed the Hen House tool to the point where a hen mallard has up to 12 times greater chance of a successful nest than a hen nesting on the ground in upland grass just a short distance away. We also found that hen houses in some areas are responsible for most of the yearling hens that return to nest in that area in subsequent years. In the 30 plus years Delta has been working with hen houses, we found countless innovations in everything from construction and insulation to spacing and usage. We're all about learning and applying what we learn with every season. Delta hen houses are a proven, effective duck production tool. They provide nesting hen mallards that readily adapt to hen houses, safety from both mammalian and avian predators. But for all other upland nesting species, direct predator management is the tool with the biggest, broadest impact. Delta predator management and hen houses are now proven hardened tools. While we'll never stop looking for ways to refine and polish them, they are ready to go to do the work of increasing the number of ducks in each and every fall flight, season after season. 21st century waterfowl conservation success will depend on deploying these duck production tools at scale to take them from Delta's forge and put them into mass production. Because of these tools, the new measure of waterfowl conservation success has changed. It is now the number of ducks produced from these areas that will measure real success. It has now been proven that active predator management is a tool of importance equal to the raw material of quality breeding habitat itself. Delta Waterfowl's Million Duck Campaign will deploy the tools to add a million ducks to every fall flight, every year, forever.